Time for an update on the fish and the plants in the aquaponic system, so stick around if you want to have a bit of a gander. Hey folks, just for a little bit of food and for the silvers. They're going off in both tanks at the moment. Now I'm standing up here over the tank though, they'll probably stop, as they always do. But these guys have been doing fairly well over the last couple of days. We're sitting with a water temp of around about 25 degrees Celsius, or 26-ish, so it's going between the two. I'm pretty happy with that. These guys are still feeding, they're still happy. I definitely think um, having the compressor in there with the extra air has helped them out. I'll uh, just give you a bit of a look at the system. We've got another load of beans to come off for tonight. And also too, I posted um, over on Patreon a bit of a, a clip looking at these guys here. These are some cucumbers. I got the seeds from Ruben. Um, he's been a Facebook mate for a while now and we've traded seeds. More my way than his way, unfortunately, but I was a little bit concerned that these cucumbers uh, weren't going to be setting many female fruit. We had quite a few that have um, shriveled up. And I was a little bit concerned that, um, yeah, we weren't seeing any male flowers. Now, a lot of the hybrids I've received from him have been parthenogenic, which basically means the female flowers, these ones here with the fruit behind them, come self-fertile. And it looks like these guys here definitely are self-fertile because we've had a whole heap set. There's three, did I count three up there? Or two up there. And another one down the bottom here. It looks like it's set as well. Where do I see it? Ah, here we go. Just around the corner here. There's another one that looks like it's set there. So, looks like we are going to get a decent amount of um, cukes from this plant here. Uh, just here is one of the red coral lettuce. This one here has set some seed. And I'm pretty much all just waiting for the rest of them to um, dry off. And then we'll come along and we'll pluck the little seeds out and save them. I dare say a few are going to fall down here in the bed and might make their way over here as well. We might end up with a um, new batch of volunteer lettuce. You might notice something a bit different about this bed. I've hacked back the perpetual spinach. Um, it was just being ravaged far too much by those little um, leaf curl caterpillars. It's uh, from a little moth species. So I decided to cut as much greenery back as I could. And in the process, I noticed that down in the um, little gaps between the branches and the um, stem itself, there were a lot of the baby caterpillars, so I ended up um, cutting the really badly affected branches back as far as I could. But I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at the stem of the plant. Definitely a very unique plant, um, this perpetual spinach. It's normally with other chards that I've grown, you'll end up with one stem, and then you might have one or two little shoots of um, extra green coming off the top. But this one here is sort of splayed out like a bit of a sea anemone. Um, definitely very unique and some of the leaves have decided to shoot back I did try and leave a little bit of greenery on there and it looks like we still have one of those little caterpillars hanging around this leaf section so I'll have a look through there in a minute and see if I can find him and give him the squish I think I found him without realizing yuck just at the moment I'm filling up the um, sump tank I've got all the stand pipes pulled out so all the water from the grow beds are down in there and I've just got my hose from the little um, holding tank filling her up. Um, we've had a lot of evaporation this week and also transpiration from the plants themselves. I've been a little bit busy running around after the girls and all that sort of thing, so I haven't been able to top it up this week. And I'll come back probably during next week and clean the radial flow filter out. I've got a few other jobbies I need to do today. The rest of the system, she's looking pretty good. Um, we'll just move back here and give you a look. I have uh, put over the 30% shade cloth, if you haven't seen that update online on other sites. So it's giving a little bit more protection to the grow beds. And as you can see, the perpetual spinach I let go to flower is, um, yeah, she's turned into quite a monster. Hopefully we'll get some seeds off of that one fairly soon because it's, yeah, stretching the cloth out a little bit. But I'm pretty happy with the way she's going. Um, I've seen a few little buds, a bit hard for you guys to see through there, but it looks like we might end up with a couple of seeds. Down in here we had uh, more of those curl caterpillars, I think that was in the last clip I posted for you folks, and um, they're pretty much all ravaged, there's a silver bead over there, they're pretty much all destroyed, and a few more over the back that I should really be taking out today, so 
that's the next job on the list. But the lettuce, the rabbit ear lettuce in here, um, we've been going through a fair bit of that, um, just harvesting the leaves from down the base. And we've also got a couple up in a root pouch garden near the house we've been hoeing into. Uh, Vanessa on Patreon uh, told me about her experience with the beneficial mites. So I'm definitely going to be getting some of them because these leaves here, and probably here, are a little bit crunchy. Just being dried out because the mites are sucking the life out of them. So come Monday I'll be ordering some beneficial bugs from a place here in Queensland. And yeah, according to Vanessa, it didn't take long for them to clean them up in her patch. I would order, I would have ordered them this week, but I just didn't want them sitting in the post office van and trucks um, through the hot weather. So I figure I'll order them on um, Sunday night and they'll be shipped early next week. A few other plants are booming in here. Um, <laughs> the time, absolutely going burko. Mum came around yesterday and took um, some of that thyme and some of the um, rosemary from around the front here and some oregano to pop into um, the slow cooker to cook up a leg of goat. So apparently it tasted really nice. Uh, oh, a new addition. We've got some Owen Knock. The Owen Knock was uh, given to me by Roscoe or Ross, um, a mate from Patreon and Facebook. And I've got another one over here that's a little bit bigger. We've actually taken a couple of leaves off this one to sample through the family. I have noticed though that uh, a couple of the plants are starting to get a little bit of a moss wing. So I do think I need to add a little bit of chelated iron in there. I've been asked about which iron I use a fair bit in the system and I decided to go out and get some DTPA. Um, so that's pretty much for what I'm using in the system now. There's a little soldier fly by the look of it, buzzing around the system. So I just better check this hose. Sorry about that folks, but the hose is off now and I'll pop those standpipes and bells in in a minute. Um, I was talking about iron, but enough of that. I'll just show you around the back of the system here. We've got one of those little uh, lettuces that uh, basically was a volunteer in the rocks down here that's gone to seed. I've already collected a little bit of seed from this one and I'll collect some more. Uh, no doubt she'll spread her babies down through the rocks there and through the path as they always do. Uh, around the corner here I've got some, just some Egyptian spinach. This is just stuff I'm going to grow in a root pouch. I saved it from the compost heap that I used to make up a couple of wicking beds. Uh, these barrels here haven't been planted out with any ginger as of yet, uh, but that will be happening today. I've been waiting for some ginger to sprout to film a clip, but it just not, it's just not happening. Um, over here, give you a bit of a closer look at some of these caterpillars we're having the issue with. So, we'll probably find one under here. So now the phone's focused. That's the little blighters we're having a problem with. Uh, they basically curl up a part of the leaf and um, hide in there. And then, yeah, you can see the damage they do. They pretty much will strip a leaf back pretty efficiently. I'm not too worried about taking these leaves off because these plants are fairly resilient. I have noticed though, yeah, I got mites in here as well. What, what you get is a bit of a browning or discoloration to the leaf. Don't know how well it's turning out there, but the, the little mites, very hard to see with the naked eye. They suck the life out of the, um, the leaf. Sorry about that siphon there. Excuse me, we're talking. These mites pretty much will suck the life out of the leaves and they turn all crispy. So definitely looking forward to getting some of the beneficials in there. Another plant I've found those caterpillars are hitting are uh, the Brazilian spinach. So we have taken a fair bit off the other plant and I'm actually harvesting bits from out the front at the moment just so we can get those caterpillars under control. Apparently the girls don't like eating um, caterpillars. Oh, just uh, something else to show you. Um, yeah, I missed some turmeric from last year's harvest. So, or well, it's actually earlier this year's harvest. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have turmeric popping up in that grow bed again. So there you go, a little bit of a, an overview of the aquaponics. Um, we might actually go up and read the pH, just out of curiosity. So there we go, the pH is sitting at 6.6. .6, so I'm pretty happy with that. I do find when I top up with water um, from the tank we have up near the house, that we always do get a little bit of a jump in the pH, mainly because it's coming from the town water supply. So it may go up probably another point or so, but I, I won't go up much higher than that. Anywhere between 6.3 and 6.8, um, I'm pretty chuffed with that range. And yeah, just have another look at the temperature. Yeah, we're still sitting around about 26 degrees, 25, 26 degrees. Just before I let you all go, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at what I did with the bed here. I trimmed back those three silver beet or rainbow chard that were there. Um, and as you can see, this one does have a different growth habit to the uh, perpetual spinach. There's no little shoots coming off the side. Um, so hopefully that'll knock most of those caterpillars on the head. And I've left one of the mite infested leaves on this rainbow chard here. 
so those mites have something to feast on when they arrive. Chop back that Brazilian spinach. Um, over here I cut back this Brazilian spinach and removed the celery that was here and planted out some of the red celery that Chris um, brought up for me a while back. So I thought you folks would appreciate having a bit of a look at how the beds polished up after they had their clean out and hopefully we've knocked the majority of those um, caterpillars on the head and those plants will bounce back nicely. Uh, just at the end of the clip what I'll do is I'll post a couple of photos just showing you the harvest that we've been taking out of here over the last week or so and I might throw one in of some fish cakes we made up using some of the jade perch we had in the freezer. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a look at the fish feeding, not that they're um, very sociable, and also the wander around the patch for a bit of a mini update folks. I must say I'm really chuffed with the way those uh, cucumbers are going at the moment, and these little bush beans beside me, they're the provider variety by the way, uh, they've just given us so much fruit, we're really chuffed with those guys. Um, so I will be planting out the ginger a little bit later on today after I knock off a few other little jobbies around the place. So thank you very much for coming along and checking up on how the system's going. Be great if you could hit that little subscribe button down there if you haven't done so already and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a clip on the aquaponics or some other part of our small little backyard farm. I do hope you're all well and happy and that your systems are booming and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks, have a great one. Laura keeps the saying goodbye too.